morning. Back on the trail. Um, it's been some weeks since last time. And today I'm on another day hike. I've uh, um, started walking from Magvidu, which is like the hiking capital. And, and this is the place where all three long distance trails sort of cross each other. And uh, with that, I've sort of completed one branch out of six and started the other one. So yeah, I'm now walking towards the sea, which is still very far. <laughs> So yeah, it is 7 in the morning, I've just come by train from the capital and I have ahead of me 32 kilometers today and it's, yeah, I wanted to come like a couple of days ago but uh, the weather was bad and I was tired and wasn't really prepared even though I know it's just a day hike, but still. And then, yeah, today I forced myself to get up 5 a.m. to catch the train, get here, and hike. And after I'm done with today, I'm actually gonna drive um, to my summer house, home, whatever, for, yeah, for a vacation day tomorrow. So, yeah, as you can probably see, I'm, uh, whoa, I see a light, that's interesting. I'm wearing a lot more clothing than last time because summer is officially over now. It's actually not that cold. <laughs> yeah, just the initial morning thing. Uh, but yeah, I have, um, switched out my trail runners for hiking boots. Uh, reason number one, weather. Uh, these are waterproof and for a day hike that's totally fine. And reason number two, ankle support. The forest is going to be probably very wet today, lots of tree roots. And I just, I don't want to injure my ankle any further. I can't say I'm on a tight schedule, but I'm not exactly taking a walk in the park. It's Sunday, so the bus, whoa, what's that? It's, uh, it's Sunday, so the bus schedules are kind of not so good. So I have to, I have a bus I want to catch today. So yeah, let's hike. Let's do this. So, uh, 
This type of shelter, uh, it's like... They're not very common in the camping places, but but they are like super rewarding when you find them. Either it's just for a break from the rain or if you want to sleep under the shelter, there's like room for, I don't know, eight people at least. So yeah, and there's, there's a fire pit right in front of it and it's, it's actually on a ledge. Back there, there's a drop, so you can see like the forest from here. These are the boots I'm wearing. These are all Sportiva Cornins, Gore-Tex boots, and yeah, so fine, so far, they're totally fine. I guess my feet aren't really used to wearing boots like these uh, yet, and that's why my um, like arch mm, feels a bit weird uh, from time to time. But but generally speaking, it's okay. Uh, they are a little bit you know tight, uh, tighter around my foot than I would like to, but that's probably because I'm wearing liner socks and uh, normal sports socks on top of them. So I think they should be fine with just a pair of hiking socks. But yeah, it's boot season, <laughs> and I'm glad I brought them because uh, with today's rain and mud and puddles and yeah, trail runners would have been pretty miserable. <laughs> so, I have my little breakfast breakfast because it's like it's not even 10 o'clock yet and 20 kilometers to go weather is a little bit chilly it starts rain but you know what I'd still rather be out here doing this in this weather than sitting at home or uh, being at work or anything like that I'm at my today's end destination, but I didn't vlog much because for the past three hours it has <clears throat> rained and it hasn't rained down, it's rained sideways. So I'm like pretty soaked and I'm waiting for the bus and there's still quite, um, quite a bit of time. So yeah. Uh, I'm just waiting at a bus stop. Fortunately there's a roof over my head. And no, I did not expect this kind of turn. Uh, my feet are completely soaked. I can feel the water sloshing in my boots. And that's because it rained kind of into my boots. Mm, they held, um, they held on top, but yeah, I still don't have any decent rain pants, so, so yeah.
Hi again. Um, I'm sorry if today's vlog is very short. Uh, the weather got really, really awful. And um, yeah, basically I spent like three hours in some kind of sideways rain. And uh, oh god. And um, yeah, I was completely. Well, not completely, but I was soaked. And since I still don't have rain pants, then uh, the um, rain was like dripping into my boots, which would have been fine. <laughs> but since there was like water rushing down there, then in the end they were just like sloshing. So you can think that by getting yourself uh, waterproof boots that you'll be fine, but <laughs> don't count on it. So yeah, I had to wait a little bit for the bus and get back to town and now I got myself a hot shower and some hot coffee, so I'm good. Uh, yeah. Um, altogether, um, this stretch of the trails was actually, it was quite pretty. I really, really liked the scenery. And I'm sure it would have been much prettier in, in like bright sunlight. Um, but yeah, today was just a very harsh experience once again in this pouring rain. So yeah. Lessons learned today. You gotta get yourself a pair of rain pants now. <laughs> I don't know why I've been postponing getting myself a pair of like decent rain pants, but not anymore. I mean, this isn't funny anymore <laughs> outside. And um, when in summer I had this situation on my long hike, then right now it's much colder outside. So basically if you're not moving and if you just take a break, then you'll, you, you could just hypothermia or something. So yeah, but... All is good. Uh, this day hike is over. I, did, I think it turned into a bit of a workout in, towards the end because I started picking up the pace and I think I walked 30 kilometers today in, um, in about six or seven hours, something like that. Anyway, it's almost close to 5 p.m. and yeah, I'm going to drive to my summer home or our country house um, and I hope it'll be a little bit better tomorrow because I have a day off and I would really like to rest. Uh, but anyway, thanks for coming with me today and uh, go for a hike yourself, get yourself some decent weatherproof stuff, uh, gear and go for a hike yourself. So until the next section then. Bye! So to illustrate how much rain it rained today, this is my pot cover. It's hanging and it's dripping. And this is the inside of the pot cover. The outside is kind of okay, but the inside is like containing a lot of water. You could, you know, fill your bottle up.